Pandemers, welcome to another episode of Isolation Never Tastes It So Good. I'm your pandemic culinary host, Chef Matt Fairchild, welcoming you back. You know, I was out walking my dogs, Sadie and Bruce, today. My next door neighbor comes up to me, he's a very distinguished gentleman, and he says, Matt, they have closed the theater. I couldn't understand what he said, so I came back inside and I was like, hey, Patrick, you know what we should do? We should go to movies today. We looked at movie times. Well, you know what? Movies was closed. I said, well, what's on TV? And he said, well, pretty much anything you want to pay for is on TV. We can watch or, you know, everybody's on Netflix. So we, we turned on the Netflix and the YouTubes, and we was just surfing. And I was like, you know what? We're missing something. And he said, what's that? And I said, we're missing popcorn. And he said, well, what are we going to do? I said, we could take a little mug down to the movie theater, knock on the door, and see if they give, might give us some butters. I don't think they're going to give us some butters. He said, I don't think that's going to happen, happen, Paul. And I said, well, okay. Well, so what are we going to do? And he goes, well, we can make some. And I thought, you know what, boy, howdy, I can make popcorn. So what we're going to do today is we're going to up our game, up our isolating, and make some kettle corn. Are y'all ready to get started? Let's get started. So for today's recipe of kettle corn, you're going to need some dry popcorn. It's going to transform. Get it? It's a movie reference. And we're going to get some chili flakes to keep it a little spicy. We're going to get some sugar to keep it a little sweet. And then we're going to use some cayenne pepper to make it a little hot. Now, in order to cook our popcorn, what we're going to do is we're going to have some oil. We've got to put some oil in the pan, heat up that oil, put in a few kernels of the popcorn, see if they pop, and then we'll put the rest of the ingredients in the oil We'll stir in our popcorn, we'll put a lid on it, and we're just going to shake it. Now, here's how it's going to work. We're going to do a little demonstration for our cinnamon dimming kettle corn. So the first step we do is we get our heat set on high. And we're going to pour our oil into the pan. Just enough to cover the bottom. That's maybe a quarter of a cup. Now at this point, your oil is going to get start getting pretty hot there. It's going to start rippling a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn down to about medium, medium to medium high heat, and we're going to put in a couple of couple of kernels of corn and see if they pop. Now these are kind of starting to really bubble and sizzle, so I kind of like where they are. Once you see your popcorn start bubbling and sizzling, you know it's hot enough to pop popcorn. There it goes right there. Did you see that? How? Whoa! Goodness gracious! That's gonna make your head pop. It's gonna be so good. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stir in our sugar. We're gonna stir in our chili flakes. We're gonna stir in a little cayenne. Come on, cayenne, don't be shy. There we go. And then at this point in the game, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our popcorn in. And we're gonna let it sit down in there like that. And it's going to start sizzling. And we're going to put a lid on that. Now what we need to do is we need to take this and kind of shake it a little bit every few minutes. Now when it starts to popping and you take this lid off, it's going to go everywhere. So don't do that. When you give this a shake, mm -hmm. I can tell it's fixing to go. Oh, hey, there it goes. Y'all see that? Look at that. Look at that. How about that? Come on, corn. Pop for me. Oh, there you go. How about that? Mm-hmm. There it go. Mm-hmm. There it goes. Woo! One came right out. Came up to see me. Mm-hmm. And shake it around a little bit. You gotta shake it around because you don't want that sugar to burn on the bottom. Oh man, you imagine what happened if I lifted this lid? Ha! Oh, they're, they're, they're escaping. That's okay though. That's okay. Look at that. We're gonna keep it shaking. Keep it shaking. Keep it shaking. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's fun right there. Now do a slow mo with that. Cinematography in there. Oh, here it comes. 
Here it comes, gonna pop the lid straight off of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we got our popcorn. Now as the pop's starting to slow down a little bit, we're gonna turn our heat off. And we're gonna take our popcorn off the heat and let the residual heat cook the rest of that popcorn. Until it just starts popping. Once our popcorn has stopped popping in there, we're gonna take a little spoon and we're gonna get, get that popcorn right out of there. Mm-hmm. That's sweet. Mm-hmm. That just looks mighty fine. Mighty fine. Mighty fine now. I'm gonna put this over here now. Now come on now, you're not gonna escape. And then with my hands, I'm just gonna kinda mix it up just a little bit. Mm. Hear how crunchy that is? That's because that sugar kind of caramelized on that popcorn in that pan. Mmm, mmm. Pan delicious. That's what I'm talking about right there. We're gonna let it. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's pandemic video. It is kettle corn and a little bit of spice. Y'all like and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing y'all next time on Isolation Never Tasted So Good.